Everybody, this is a guided walkthrough for Bandit Level 2 from OverTheWire.org. So to start off the level, let's go ahead and access Bandit Level 2 with the SSH command over here. Let's log into Bandit Level 2, and then we need to supply the password. Remember that uh, you need to keep your password somewhere safe, and you need to do some copy and pasting. So paste in your password and then hit enter. And now we're logged in. So what do we need to do? Let's go ahead and clear the screen and let's take a look inside this directory here. So <laughs> it looks like we've got a we've got a file called spaces in this file name. So the problem here is that um, the file name uses special characters. So special characters in this case means uh, the spaces in here. Okay, so if you try to use um, cat with the spaces in this file name, you're not going to have a good time. Uh, the problem is, is that um, each time you supply a space inside of Linux, Linux is going to think that each time you use the space, that's going to be the beginning of a new file name. So it's going to look for the spaces file, and it's going to look for the in file, it's going to look for the this file, and the file name file. The problem is that we're not trying to read four different files. We're, going to, we're trying to read one file that's called spaces in this file name. And we're going to have to find a way to, um, we're going to, have to, find a way to, to read that file. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on. So this is bandit2 reading files with spaces in the name. So in this level, we need to read a file with spaces in its name. If we try to read this file normally, we won't be able to since, the Linux, since, since Linux interprets the spaces as the end of one file name and the beginning of another. So this is why it doesn't go over. And this is why it's not recommended to put spaces in file names. However, there's a couple of methods we could use to reference file names with spaces in them. So we're going to learn two different methods we can, um, we can use to solve the level. And the first method is to wrap the name of the file in quotes. So it's either going to be single quotes or double quotes. This ensures that Linux will interpret everything in the quotes as a single object. So if we, if we wrap spaces in this file name in, uh, in quotes, then we're going to be able to read it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do some double quotes. And inside the double quotes, we're going to type in the, the name of the file. So it's spaces in this file name. And then hit Enter. So this is the password for the next level. So we were able to successfully read the file because we, uh, we gave the correct we gave the correct way to um, to reference the file name in this case so that was wrapping the uh, the file name in quotes the other method is this the second method is to insert a backslash character before every space in the file name this lets linux know that the space is not the start of a new file name but part of the current file name so if you give a backslash, whatever comes immediately after the backslash is going to be interpreted literally and not as, um, as a delimiter for uh, something else in the command. So basically, this is uh, you can escape and uh, give spaces inside file names in this way. Let's go ahead and do that. So we do cat and then spaces. And then before the space, give a backslash in and then backslash and then this and then backslash space file name. So each time we want to put in a space, we have to put in the backslash before it. And if we do it like this, then we're able to read the file and get the password. Okay. So 
Oh, this is a pr this is probably a good opportunity to um to talk about um, tab autocomplete as well. So anytime you've got anytime you've got a a long file inside of Linux, you can actually save yourself a bit of um a bit of time and effort by using the tab key on your keyboard. So you start typing in the name of the file, and then afterwards you can hit tab on your keyboard to autocomplete the name of the file. So if you did tab from here, it's going to complete the name of the file name, and then uh, this this saves you a lot of time. So we're, we'll talk a little bit more about this um, in a later exercise probably. But uh, just know that if you're typing in really long file names, you can just start typing in the name of the file name and then hit the tab key on your keyboard to autocomplete the uh, the file name or directory name. Okay, so we just need to copy the password here. And then we need to exit the level. So remember, you, you haven't finished the level until you exited it. So give the exit command, and then you're done. Everybody, this was a guided walkthrough for the Bandit 2 level from uh, Bandit Labs over at overthewire.org. If you enjoyed this guided walkthrough, please leave a like and subscribe on the video and leave a comment underneath the video. But until next time, Hacker Frogs out. Hey there, Hacker Frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel, and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.